Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Spartan Mark V uh, B uh, from the Halo Infinite figure wave. Um, and this guy, I think it looks really cool. Um, so here's the Halo logo on the bottom there. He's the eighth figure in the set. Here's the figure. And then you get the Spartan uh, collection thing there. Uh, and then the little logo for the Spartan Mark V B logo there with accessories. And then you get the uh, UNSC furnace there. And then you just get that little picture of the figure there on that side. And then here's the back if you guys want to pause and read that you can. Nothing much on the side here and then nothing much on the bottom here. So besides that, let's crack them open. And here's the Spartan Mark V figure out of the packaging here. Um, and he looks really cool. So first start off with all of his accessories. So first he comes with a little uh, added on code here, but I'm not gonna turn it around because it has the code for me. I'm gonna probably end up getting the Xbox sometime after I get the PS5. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you know why I'm getting the PS5 first. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and a few other games. Um, but first let's start off with bigger stuff. So first he comes with this little uh sub uh, sub what what's the word uh i guess just a semi-automatic um uh, a gun here i forgot what this was called again but yeah but i like the detailing that they have here they have that little white strip going around the entire barrel here um and then you get the little sight there which is pretty cool um, and then you get some more black detailing. They have that peg hold there so you can pour it into his back. Um, and then all the other extra gray detailing through there. So that's really cool. This is really cool actually, I like it a lot. So there's that. And then he has one of the Covenant uh, pistols. I don't remember what this one's called. I think it's the plasma gun or, no, it's not the needle needler because it has needles sticking out of it. But this one is not the needler. I'm just gonna call it a plasma pistol. But yeah, you get that nice purple look there with some blue there for the mag and some more purple detailing there. So that's really cool. I like this a lot. And then for the hands, he comes with two relaxing hands. We've seen these before. So a little bit of a camouflage looking green, I think to me, or gray maybe, I don't know. But yeah, there's those. They did a good job on the sculpt there. And he has two fisted hands. Same deal, we've seen these before. So yeah. And then we got one salute hand, which we have also seen. So there's that. Besides that, that's all we have for accessories. So let's go over the figure here. So first off with the head or helmet, you get that nice gray reflective visor there, which I like a lot. And then I think this is the same head sculpt as the Martin, um, Spartan Mark Seven, I believe. Maybe the same body sculpt, except for the legs maybe. Um, but yeah, I like the white that they have going on throughout the figure here. You get some little hints of blue there and some other places too, like right here. Um, but I really like the white on this figure. And you get more of that lighter gray there. I like the what they are doing with the shoulder pads here instead of going all the way up to basically blocking them. You get a pass there and that happens. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Uh, that's one of my problems. They fall apart pretty easily. Oh, they don't. Uh, one thing that they didn't have for this figure, I guess, is a peg in the back there. So that's interesting. I, I think they may have just put a peg there just in case if you want to switch guns with other figures. So there's that. But yeah, you get more of that white detail in there. You get that little blue detail there. I like the knee pads for this figure. Nice and bulky. The, shin, uh, the boots are really cool too. And then you also get some of that scratches or wears throughout the feet, the armor. So that's really cool. But for the white parts, you don't really see that because I don't know if they're able to do that. I think they could have added that just by putting in like gray 
scratches through it maybe that would have helped a little bit but yeah no wearing throughout the rest of the figure besides maybe yeah just besides the boots and the knee pads so yeah but besides that that's all we got for the detailing so let's go over his articulation so his head can hinge down just that far uh he's basically looking straight for going up basically he can look left and right you get some head pivoting there uh, his shoulders can move out past 90 degrees there, so that's good. And they, you get a little butterfly joint there. Uh, you can do 360 rotation around the shoulder. You got bicep swivel. You got double jointed elbows there. His wrist can hinge down just that far, up the, just a little bit. So, And then 360 rotation around there. He has a ball joint here at the diaphragm so you can go forward that barely any backwards bar like none so barely going back and forth but you can get him to go to the side just a little bit there the other side same deal get some side to side motion there so yeah and he also does have another ball joint at the bottom but i kind of just showed all that because it's not moving anyways so yeah there's that his legs kick out, kick out, whoops, just that far forward, pretty far, that's cool. Uh, backwards a little bit. He does have a thigh cut. So yeah, it's a little hard to do that because it goes around the hip there. So it kind of, it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, he does have double jointed knees. If I can get it to go, get the other one going without breaking it. Ugh, maybe I can do the other one. There we go. So yeah, you can get him to do butt kicks. Uh, no thigh, uh, sh no shin cut. His ankles can hinge down pretty far. Up pretty decent amount. You get a nice ankle pivot and you got some toe hinges. So up that far, down that far. Have that same thing going on with the sides here to have them peg. But like I'm having the same problem with this figure with the mark 7 one where you can't get this thing to flip over but yeah you should be able to do that but for some reason they make it pretty tough to do that so i'm not gonna even bother with it but yeah so yeah i think this guy is a pretty cool figure on um, just some little problems with the articulation and the functionality of the peg things for his thighs there it's pretty hard to get them out and flipped over and then for Master Chief, they're pretty hard to, once you flip them over, it's pretty hard to keep them stay, to stay in there. So they fall apart, fall off pretty easily once you flip them over. And then another thing is that this wrist, I meant this elbow kind of falls. But I think that's just my figure. I'm not sure if anyone else is having that problem with theirs. But yeah, I think this figure is a pretty cool looking figure. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use the codes. I have three of them right now. I'm going to get the blue one at some point. I forgot which one it is, but it has a robotic arm on one of the arms. I think it's its right arm. So, yeah, I'll get one uh, that one at some point. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get a Xbox Series X after I get the PS5. Because of all the games on the PS5, I want more than the PS... I mean, Xbox Series X. The only thing that I think I want on that is the Halo game, I believe. It may be Forza Horizon. But besides that, this figure is pretty cool. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.